So this is the kind of room you can expect for $10 US a night in um, Cambodia. Bang Bong, Bang Bong, we are in. And uh, this is the Lux guest house. Everything's working in the sink, uh, hot water. It's pretty good. Turn it on here. Um, the sink's pretty in good working order. Toilet's clean. They have a working fridge. Working rubbish bin. TV I haven't tried. I don't really use the TVs. Bed is comfortable. Nice um, quality bed as well. Mirror. Some dodgy uh, power points, but they work. The room with a fan is $10 US. You can get a room with an air con for $15 with um, two big beds that they um, gave me on the first night because I didn't specify uh, for a fan room. So it's more expensive. I have Wi-Fi here. You, you have a window that looks out onto the road. They're repainting, so it's been pretty noisy in the morning. The aircon doesn't work. I think the owner said he's going to refurbish with a new aircon, and they're repainting. So this might look newer in a few weeks or a few months' time. But uh, yeah, pretty good quality, pretty good value for money. Really good value for money compared to rooms I was staying in in Hanoi. But uh, this guest house, there's hardly any guests. So it could be overpriced for this small town. I saw another room for seven bucks and the, um, the uh, German and the French guys that were staying at dorms for between $3, I think it was like $4.50 and $5, something like that, something pretty low. But the rooms were nowhere near this quality. So if you, splurge an extra five bucks it's a world of difference in accommodation i'd uh, recommend getting this room for 10 bucks over you know five dollars sleeping in a thinly partitioned cubicle i think the dude kind of i don't know there's something dodgy with the price maybe because reviews for this guest house said that um, it's supposed to be eight bucks but the guy charged 11 and the guy in the night duty charged me 11, but the day guy charged 10. So it seems like they just make their own pricing. But uh, yeah, decent quality room, really clean. No uh, cockroaches or any insects, which is a good um, <laughs> thing. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty modern, apart from the fan and the aircon. But uh, yeah, very clean, new, spacious, with fresh air. So everything you really need, nothing that's malfunctioning. In the Hanoi room, the tap had a problem and um, there was no fresh air. So this is literally a breath of fresh air for me. All right guys, so um, I'm at the Lucky Hostel, room 209. And um, just wanna show you guys what a room is like at the seven dollar per night, seven dollars US per night price level. Uh, not as nice as the other one, but uh, you know you're getting it cheaper. Haven't tried out the bathroom. Um, there's the shower, toilet. It is pretty good value for seven bucks i mean for eight bucks you get a window um they didn't have the rooms with the windows left unfortunately so stuck here with no oxygen guys
But um, yeah, seven bucks, you can't complain at all, can you? Like tiled floors, decent bed. Haven't tried it yet, but um, kind of botchy furniture. This would probably break with a lot of weight. Uh, you get a fan. I think it's $11 for a room with aircon and 12 bucks for aircon with a window. It's like an extra dollar um, for, for air. And um, yeah, that's what I wanted. I asked for the $8 room, but uh, unfortunately, they're in pretty high demand. Um, this is a quite a popular hostel or hotel or guest house. And um, the rooms go out quick. You gotta book in advance most times if you want uh, specific rooms. Um, the facilities look nice though. Just, um, you know, just around. Although there's no elevator, so you gotta walk up, gotta walk up a couple of flights of stairs. This is the stairs. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty decent, very good value for money. Damn, that was one, that was one of the rooms with the windows. So yeah, sorely lacking uh, window, this room. Um, Kind of re regretting maybe i could upgrade to like an 11 dollar room or something with a window all right so i uh, moved to another room with the window uh we got room 115 it's only two bedrooms only two bedrooms were available so um it was nine dollars us extra couple of bucks but um yeah because i've uh, I got a, I got a small nose, guys. So it's hard for me to get uh, oxygen in to the body. So we uh, that that room was really stifling. Um, looks like the same bathroom setup. I'll just throw it out onto a wide angle. Same bathroom setup. Pretty. Uh... Wait, is this door lock? Yeah, door doesn't seem to close properly. But. Um... Yeah, that's not a big concern. Pretty nice tiles, two beds, because we're paying nine bucks. Um, there's eight dollars if you've got a single room with a fan. But uh, as I said, those weren't available. So pretty good pricing structure. And yes, importantly, we got air. I started prioritizing air because I stayed at that place in Hanoi and um, it, it didn't have a window and um, I think it uh, affected me. I, I couldn't uh, function properly. I was sleeping like a lot and still feeling really tired because there was no oxygen in that uh, entire room. And I stayed there for a couple of weeks. So this time when I saw that room had some bad flashbacks to um, the Hanoi room. But yes, this is perfect. We got air airflow yeah got to prioritize the airflow mate i uh i overlooked that in my stay in hanoi because uh, i was just going for the cheapest possible room and the cheapest rooms they most likely are gonna cheap out on the windows so uh yeah this is perfect although um nine bucks it's almost the same as i was paying at the lux guest house so <laughs> uh yeah, but uh, I wanted to show you a different room. Give you guys uh, a bit of selection. For the pricing, if you're gonna go for the $8 room, might be worth it, but at nine bucks, I just splurged the extra dollar and and um, the, the place at the Lux guest house was a lot nicer, nicer beds and um, just more quality all around. But yeah, if you're counting every penny, you know, if a dollar means a lot, then um, this is a dollar cheaper every day, you know. I guess if you're staying a bit longer, it adds up. So a good option. And it seems very popular. You know, there's a lot more guests in this guest house than there were at the Lux guest house, where I saw zero foreigners. 
the whole time I was there.